Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Michael here, Shy City Hacker. Very, very, very big day in the kayak fishing industry. We are going to take a look, react, share our initial thoughts on the reveal from Old Town Kayaks of their new E Pedal Plus kayak. This is going to change the game, but it is not without some level of controversy, at least the initial impressions from the community. We're going to dive into that as well. Welcome. Let's go ahead and jump into this, y'all. Here is the reveal they did. We're going to take a look at it and talk about it as we go along. We're going to stop periodically to discuss some things that stick out. So let's jump into this. They've been teasing this coming out for the last week or so. And let me preface, preface this and say that for the last two years, I have said since the autopilot came out in 2020, I've said that the next uh iteration the next evolution in kayaks is really going to be the propulsion system we have pedal we have motor but what i have said is if someone comes to the market with a hybrid system of both pedal system that is motorized that is going to be the i win kind of setup why is that because a hybrid propulsion system gives you the best of both worlds it also gives you redundancy when it comes to you know potential failures uh say your battery runs out or some kind of wiring issue you know you're not stranded you have your your pedals and you can just keep going so that's kind of what i've been saying and here it is old town has delivered on this new e-pedal plus So we got a first look at it here. There it is. They got the green. They've got the green going for the uh, pedal. So of the, you know, well-known orange uh, accents. So that sticks out from it. Looks pretty much the same as same design, but I'm sure under the hood is going to be very different, of course. And this is all on the big water. And I'm excited about this specifically for us Great Lakes, Lake Michigan salmon anglers. Old Town at iCast 2023. What up, Brian? I am super excited to announce that we have a new product that we're bringing to market. It is the most versatile kayak on the market. It is the Big Water EPDL Plus 132 in our Sportsman line. It is one boat that does it all. It's a manual pedal. It offers pedal e-assist, and it offers fully motorized cruise control. It's going to change the way that you experience the water. And let me uh, show you how it works. Let's take a we look. We are incredibly excited to introduce one boat that does it all. The groundbreaking Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132 is the first seamlessly integrated battery powered pedal kayak, providing you the versatility that you want. You know, let me jump in on this one. Um, I, I've been saying for a while that the Big Water out of all of the Old Town Sportsman line has been the 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 one specific kayak in their line that needed something you know it, it, that design has been around for a while i mean many people still uh are out there with the predator that's what it was called before uh they they took over the uh kayak and you know rebranded it they did some minor modifications with the current big water but it's essentially the same kayak the predator and it's been out for a while and i've been saying like man this is a great kayak it just needs a little modernization you know so the fact that they are introducing this e-pedal plus with the big water because it's only the big water that has this propulsion system is great it, it kind of brings it back to life in their lineup so that's pretty cool and again it's a great kayak in fact i did my initial review on on the big water that's got thousands of views many people found it very very useful i'll link to it up above if you want to check it out and and find out why i believe it's such a great kayak for big water a kayak that combines pedal propulsion power assisted pedal and cruise control at Old Town, innovation is core to who we are. The Old Town Sportsman line continues to advance, leading the industry in small craft innovation. You've heard us talk about kayak propulsion in three modes, paddle, pedal, and power. The Big Water EPDL Plus does it all and more. Make it four. The patented EPDL Plus is a power-assisted pedal drive that delivers unmatched adaptability. Seamlessly switch between manual pedal, power assisted pedal or fully motorized cruise control, giving you the freedom to move on the water the way you want. The current today was moving, I'd say probably four knots. There's something about current after it comes off of a piece of structure like a bridge piling, the way that it boils. 
and makes it more difficult to, to maintain your control. A lot of what adds to your control is the amount of power that you have. And in a regular PDL, you, you, know, you only have as much power as you can pedal. It's true. And with these, it keeps right on going. Today, I was fishing offshore, got a little choppy, wanted to catch up with a friend, so cranked that pedal assist up to catch up with them. And then when I wanted to just troll at a normal speed, put it in a cruise and relax a bit. Nice. The EPDL Plus drive is simple to use. Choose to pedal manually or apply up to five levels of power assist, controlling the drive using the intuitive keys located in front of you on the drive. Then view your settings such as level of power assisted pedal or battery So let's take a look here on the, uh, we'll pause it right here for, to take a look here at the kind of the forward facing part of the, the drive. So there's the interface on it. It's all built in. It looks like it's just one entire unit. So, um, you know, it's, it's all integrated, which is pretty convenient. You don't have to worry about like for the autopilot, you know, you have to keep your remote on you. You can also use your phone for, with the app to control the motor. Uh, but, you know, just having an additional piece, you know, there are times where I've forgotten it at home and it really kind of blows your day of fishing. Uh, there's always the possibility of losing it or breaking the remote. So having it all just on the drive itself is kind of a, I think a uh, net positive overall. You can control everything on there so long as obviously buttons don't break uh, and there's issues with it. And obviously, you know, it's going to be covered under warranty to get replaced. But overall, I like the fact that it's integrated on there. It's not done via remote. You can lean forward, hit a couple of buttons and then just keep going about your um, fishing there. We can already see here that there's five levels on the E drive here. So five being the fastest, one being the slowest and kind of work incrementally from there. Uh, obviously we don't know, at least right now, what kind of each level will kind of get you in speed wise. Then again, remember that depending on whatever level you're at, you're not always going to get that, that speed because you've got currents, you've got other things to factor in, you know, the weight of the kayak, um, currents and winds. So that's going to fluctuate. So that might not even be really too relevant. Uh, at that point, you, you'd get the battery consumption, uh, meter, uh, displayed here, which is very important. So you know kind of where you're at with your battery consumption. There's also another battery up here. Not quite sure how these two work. Maybe I think this top one shows your actual battery and then the battery consumption may display how much maybe voltage or ampage is being used. I, I don't quite know. Uh, you can see here there's 42 volts. If you happen to know what that is so far, I don't just yet. I'll drop it down in the comments. I'm curious to know what that what these two different different things uh, mean here. Uh, you can see the plus and the negative to go speed up or speed down, power button, and this button here on the right side looks like that's probably the cruise lock. Uh, that's my guess. So pretty clean and straightforward interface. On the polarized sunglass friendly screen, the EPDL Plus Drive unlocks your ability to maintain higher rates of speed for longer than ever before. First time that I felt that motor progressively kick on, uh, you can't help but smile when you're riding in this kayak. It takes the ease of a pedal kayak and just makes it way more fun. The electric pedaling is phenomenal. It's just once you get going, you just keep going. If you want a break from pedaling altogether, engage cruise control, take your feet off the pedals, and let the motor take over. Being able to pedal and cruise when you need a break or just want to get somewhere faster when you're dealing with currents or anything with rough water, it just, just cuts right through. I can put this thing on cruise control, take my feet off the pedals, and then I'm hands-free if I want to be as well by locking in the knob, and I can change baits, retie line, and yeah. really be more efficient with my time on the water. That's very true, that that kind of feature of being able to cruise out. And it's one thing I love about my autopilot, you know, for those of you that have autopilot, you know this, if you don't, so it's a really cool feature on the, on the uh, autopilot with the motor is that you have a cruise lock uh, same kind of a system button where I can set the speed I want to go let's say I want to troll at 2.3 I can dial it in 2.3 lock it into that speed and the motor will adjust its its power level to keep me consistent as consistent as possible anyway at that speed and it makes it great for you know when we're offshore fishing right now summertime here on Lake Michigan for salmon we have to go offshore to 100 feet of water or so which is about four miles out well I'm not fishing until i get to at least maybe 70 feet of water i'm not going to drop lines because all that water inside of that is dead water it's too warm uh so being able to lock it in and cruise out i can do multiple other things in preparation so when i get to the 
to the depth I want to drop lines in, I'm ready to go. So that is a very convenient feature that uh, when you have a pedal drive, you don't have that luxury. You have to still keep your legs going while fumbling around with your hands to change lures, change things out uh, as you're going from spot to spot. And, and, and then in between time, you have to reach down every few seconds to readjust your rudder to keep you going straight because you, you'll naturally kind of veer off to the left or the right. So this is an, uh, another pro uh, benefit for this new e-pedal uh, plus system on the uh, big water here is that um, now many anglers can be able to take advantage of this and kind of like for real be hands free, hands and foot free to do whatever they need to do as they go from spot to spot. So th that's pretty cool. Because you can pedal the EPDL plus drive manually or utilize the power system pedal feature, it extends your time on the water, giving you the confidence to fish all day with ease. Whether fishing large bodies of water, river current, or tidal conditions, navigate and fish variable conditions easier thanks to Power Assist. Being an e-bike owner, I realize the benefits of having an electric assist. Shout when out to my boy Scott. Your spot, you're not exhausted when you get there, and you're ready to fish, you're ready to tackle the day. I still have to come back at the end of the day, and this boat would help me get to those spots that I might not try to get to now. The EPDL Plus technology introduces a new and exciting way to experience the water. And because the EPDL Plus is seamlessly integrated into the Sportsman Big Water, it includes all of the same Sportsman amenities that you appreciate, such as premium padded floors, enhanced seating, a forward-facing rod holder, and a branded tackle box. We have upgraded the deck with a wider stern tank well to accommodate standard yes. tackle crates and coolers, a deeper cup holder, and an improved shallow water anchor mounting location. Hold on, let's run that back here. This is this is actually great. The big water in the current version and the prior Predator versions, that tank well was so narrow, so limited. And for those of us that are fishing for 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 big game fish, you know, you're offshore for salmon, trout. If you're uh, fishing in the ocean, you know, and, and all of that, you're catching bigger fish. And that tank well is so small, it made it very difficult to have a crate and a, a fish bag back there to dump your catch in. So this is good that they've widened it out a bit here. Um, I can't tell by the picture of how much, but they've managed to fit that size cooler in there, which you could never do in the in the current big water. In fact, you know, I recently sold my big water. It kind of broke my heart. I didn't want to. I really love that kayak. It's so good for for big open water uh like lake michigan uh so this has really got me excited that they expanded this now uh, a couple of things i saw in here if i skip back a little bit here we get a little bit of a view of it i noticed that in the in this new version of the e-pedal plus big water that they still have the gunnel system that that they've have on the current one in the predator which it's okay but I would have really liked if they would have redone and redesigned this to give us just a standard kind of a gear track. You can kind of get a better picture here. I mean, again, those of you that have a big water know what this is. Um, I would have really liked if they would have changed this and made it just a, a flat surface that we can just do more with because this mounting plate is a bit limited. Uh, it's usable, don't get me wrong, but it's a, it's a bit limited. And this would be a nice opportunity for them to uh, utilize this and, and upgrade that and, and, you know, update that part as well. Let's continue on here. Uh, we'll get back to where we were uh, right about here. To accommodate standard tackle crates and coolers, yeah. a deeper cup holder, and an improved shallow... Of course, that cup holder is going to collect a lot of water. It's the same thing with the autopilot. I wish they would figure out a way to have some kind of a drainage out there. Not a huge deal. Eventually, it'll come out and, and whatever. Um, for those of you that use power poles, they have now a dedicated spot for the power pole, power pole system. So nice quality of life thing there. Makes it a little bit more convenient for those of you that use it to just, you know, pop it in there, screw it in, and, and you're ready to go. So that's a nice little touch water anchor mounting location. The EPDL Plus is saltwater ready, easy to maintain. Just rinse the drive after use and keep debris free from behind the prop. In addition, you have the peace of mind knowing that a two year warranty backs the EPDL okay. Plus drive and our limited lifetime home warranty also has you covered. The Big Water EPDL Plus 132 comes with a compact 36 volt, 20 amp hour lithium battery there you go. and is available. Shout out to Amped Outdoors. It comes with a, a 20 amp hour battery. Now, 20 amp hour, it's not a lot. That is not a lot of juice. Um, you know, if you're using the 
motorized portion of it very limited then it, you may be able to get a full day of fishing out of it but by no means for those of you that are are fishing like me on, on lake michigan for salmon and trout big open water if you're if you're primarily trolling for your fish whether whether it's freshwater or saltwater or um 20 amp hours is not going to be enough you're mostly gonna have to continue to just pedal on human power with and maybe use this just to help you a little bit here and there i would assume i don't know this to, to be true just yet we're gonna have to wait to kind of kind of get more info maybe we find out in this video or we're gonna have to wait a little a little later as more information comes out by the way folks i am going to be getting my hands on a um a demo unit in the near future i've already talked to old town and we're setting it up so that uh once they they get that available um i'll be able to go out and do some testing to give you guys some uh footage and and, and, and um share my thoughts in more depth and, sh and show and share more about the kayak here one of the things i do want to know though is if we can interchange those batteries the great thing is with the big water is in here we're on the front hatch it's a big open front hatch it's big enough that you could probably fit, I believe, a 100 amp hour battery right in that front. Um, and because you could probably fit a 100 amp hour battery in that front, if you can connect it and make it work with the system, that would be ideal for your offshore freshwater saltwater fishing, you know, at least 100 amp hours. That will allow you to, to, to utilize the motor uh, component of the drive a lot more. Uh, I think ideally, and this is why this is going to be a phenomenal kayak for, for anglers that are primarily trolling for, you know, freshwater, saltwater fish, is because now um, when you leave your, your the beach or if you leave the boat launch, you can throw it in power mode and let it take you out to the fishing grounds while not exerting ener any energy. And once you get to the fishing grounds, you can turn it off and go on manual power and just, you know, pedal away while you're fishing, get all your fish. Once you're done for the day, you can put it back on cruise control and shoot back in, or you can completely do it the other way around, vice versa. You can uh, pedal your own way out there yourself. Um, and then when you get to the grounds, you can uh, put it into motor, you know, put it into uh, motorized mode and troll around. The only thing right now that I think about this is that because you can't dial in, you know, your, your speeds uh, really, you know, dial it in. I, I don't know that it's gonna, how effective it's going to be for trolling if you can't get like real fine control and saying, hey, I want to go 2.3 miles an hour. Um, if you're pretty locked into just random numbers or uh, incrementally, it might not work for that. So again, this is something that we're going to have to test out and find out. My initial thoughts is that it probably wouldn't be ideal for trolling with the electric motor part. So maybe it's best to use the electric electric motor part or the electric uh, portion of it, the power portion of it, you know, to get to and from places. And then when you're actually fishing, just go ahead and use your pedal system uh, and do it that way. Lithium battery and is available in Ember, Marsh, and all new steel. Ember is always the way to go, by the way. So Ember. if you're looking for one boat that does it all, that empowers you to fish how you want and where you want, check out the patented Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132. Real quick, let's take a look at this. We got a nice little shot of the drive right here. It has to be significantly more weight than the current pedal system. It has to be. I mean, they've built in this whole head unit in there, the control system. There's motorized you know, parts in there, mechanical parts. I'm really curious as to what the actual weight of this new pedal drive alone is. Uh, and obviously, I'm curious to know if they had to make any kind of hull changes or design changes uh, in any way to compensate for that additional weight for the drive. Patented Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132. All right, man. Nice presentation. I like it. Already kind of shared some of my initial thoughts on it. Let's take a look at what he has to say. This is super exciting. We have a few anglers out on the water in the EPDL. We will show you how it works in a minute, but first I want to introduce one of our brand ambassadors, Ashley Nicole Lewis. Hey, how are you today? Hey, I'm so good. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, so Shout out to my girl, you Ash. in the Pacific Northwest. Well, yeah. Currently California, but you're from the Pacific Northwest. You do a lot of fishing up in current and river. Can you yeah. talk about how this is going to change the way you fish? Yeah, so all up and down the West Coast, big water, ocean, this kayak matters to people like me and people on the West Coast because you can take the elements 
friends and make them your friend. So I always have to take into account what the weather's gonna be. What is the wind gonna be? What is the current situation? And instead of those being limiting factors, now I can add them into my program and focus on fishing. So you, you currently fish out of a big water hull. Yeah. Tell me why you love that kayak. Yeah, that's the daily driver. I've been using that kayak for a couple of years now and this is a proven thing to me. I know I love that kayak. It's perfect for me. It's perfect for packing salmon on. It's perfect for carrying my dog. So now this is an addition to it. And I know, I already know this is going to be great and now it's just going to be even better. So you can manually pedal it. You can apply up to five levels of e-assist or you can switch it over to fully motorized. Could you walk me through maybe your day and how you envision using this technology? Yeah, so it, in, in my day, if I'm going fishing for salmon, I'm trolling, maybe I'm working up river, I can kind of set myself up where I want to be and just like throw that assist on. So I'm pedaling and then I'm done and I'm just focused on fishing. I'm hands yeah. free. Maybe I'm changing over some lures. This is going to free my hands up and it's going to free me up to really focus on the thing that I want to do. Just catch some fish. It's going to free up your hands and your feet. That That's really what the key is here for, for pedal guys. It, it really gives you the best of all worlds speeds to the pedal e-assist mode so you've got you've got five speeds to do so and we've we've actually got savannah out in the back there showing what fully motorized cruise control is like you can see that her feet are off the pedals she's she's offering no effort to the experience right now she's got her feet off the pedals which frees her up to check an email or re-rig her bait or reach out back for a snack she's fully motorized and doesn't have to worry about a thing wait did ryan really say check an email <laughs> Ryan, we're not checking emails while we're fishing. That's just you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. So here we are in the Old Town Sportsman's Owners Group on Facebook. And Old Town made the post here with the big reveal video. And we're going to take a look at some of the comments and what people initially had to say about the reveal on this Big Water 132E PDL Plus. Um, so one of the biggest things that everyone is talking about is that this kayak is going to retail for six thousand dollars yes you heard right six thousand dollars for this hybrid uh pedal slash electric motor uh kayak so that is something that i believe is a fair critique on old town for the pricing on this kayak it's going to be difficult for many people to justify the 6k price tag overall more broadly speaking about the kayak industry we've only seen it go up and up year over year on prices for all kayaks since 2020 of course we had uh, covid and uh you know kayak sales were through the roof it was a crazy time for the kayak industry uh now here we are three years later and the kayak industry is is kind of a little bit lagging a lot, a lot of them are feeling the effects of the over purchasing in 2020 and 2021 there's such a big secondhand secondhand market for kayaks right now that you can go and get a great value instead of buying a new one at, at full price and the kayak dealers and and kayak manufacturers are feeling it right now so coming out with something brand new makes sense. I think that's what this kind of fills in. It's something that's new. It, it, it gives people a reason to go buy it brand new because you can't get this on the secondhand market. And generally it, it does fit a, a, a kind of a, a hole in the kayak industry with propulsion types when you get the hybrid system. So six thousand dollars is where i think it's going to hang a lot of people up uh, that price you know as the one comment says here uh you know no kayak ever built was worth six thousand dollars that's why they make john boats you start to get into that price point where you could get a small john boat and you know have a small little motor kind of a thing although i i, I never liked that argument because you know if you kayak fish there's other intangibles that come with it that you can't get from a small john boat even if you're paying you know, after you've modified your rig and you've paid, you know, your six, seven, eight K in with electronics and accessories and da da da, da all that stuff. Yeah, you, you could have took that and bought a small boat, but there's still something else about kayak fishing, which is why we all do it. You know, we're again we're getting to the price point now that just to get the kayak itself with no other additional stuff on it, it's getting very pricey. And at $6,000, again, we're going to see a lot of sentiment about that price tag here. Another comment says, folks, you have to understand in this day and age, it's not about keeping your existing clients happy. It's about making new ones and getting them to spend as much as possible. If Old Town cared, they would have made this drive for all PDLs. Now, another component, another kind of talking point and a lot of criticism right now about this new uh, 132 PD EPDL 
big water is that it is not reverse compatible with the current and, and older generation big water and predator kayaks although the drive looks the same just from the pictures we haven't been able to see it firsthand and to know this it visually looks like it slots the same way but they have made it clear that it does not work with the uh, current big waters out in the market uh and the prior you know version predators so that has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way you know they would have liked to have seen it so that you can just get the drive drop it in and now you make your existing big water and predator you know into this hybrid system that's not the case not sure we'll be able to get an answer as to why that is was there a design reason why this can't be done uh, if that was the case, it probably would behoove Old Town to share that so the community knows why they can't revert, you know, why they couldn't reverse, uh, you know, utilize this new EPDL into the existing Big Water and Predators. Uh, otherwise, people are going to move off the assumption that it was like a play on money, that they didn't want to do it because, well, just buy the new ones. I'm not going to speculate, but I think those are kind of like the criticisms right now that I've seen about that. Another comment here says, even if they offer this e-assist pet, uh, PDL drive to fit all PDL yaks, can you imagine how much it would cost considering the regular PDL drive units to replace are about $1,500? So I bet this range is about twenty five to three k Probably not off. It's probably not off. These are not cheap uh, pieces of equipment for the kayak. A great question that we don't know the answer to, but that would be pretty cool is, does uh, pedaling recharge the battery? That would be really cool if it did. If that was the case, then the 20 amp hour battery may not be, uh, may work much longer than what I suspect it would, uh, but we don't know that just yet. Again, these last two comments pretty much sum up the two sides of the coin here. One comment, so much disappointment. The other one, very nice, congrats. And as we can see here on Old Town, they have a picture of uh, at least a digital rendering of the uh, EPDL here with some information like the manual screen. So you see level zero, there's no battery consumption because you're manually pedaling. You can see the power assist mode, it shows you this, and then it shows you on cruise mode, kind of like what the display would show you there. Um, and then some other information information about the big water pdl here 13.2 inches uh 36 inches wide the cockpit is 23 by 56 the deck height is 17.25 inches the weight 122 pounds uh, i'm guessing that that is weighed with the motor or with the pedal system in it i would have to suspect uh i've got that 500 pound weight capacity so it can hold a lot on it uh and then the battery is included with it so kind of a convenience thing there you don't have to buy a battery right out the gate if you have a battery already you know 50 amp hour 100 amp hour battery yeah I, i'm guessing that you can utilize those batteries and get more juice out of it so you can really utilize the cruise or the power assist modes a lot more and then again you can see here that the tank well has been opened up much more than it was before which is good uh and uh still again as i as i kind of mentioned earlier here on the sides we still got the you know those that uh plating gear track side plate thing whatever you want to call it again would love to have seen that changed and upgraded but uh they, they kind of kept it there for whatever reason overall what i think old town has done here is a net positive by being first to the market with a hybrid propulsion system it's something that we're probably going to see other manufacturers come and try to quickly do for themselves over the next year or so really be interested to see what hobie is doing in in this regard i think it's been known within the industry that the next evolution in the propulsion system was going to be a hybrid system and with old town coming to the uh to the field with it first it's going to give them that kind of you know uh market kind of lead in that area um once the kayak is out into the wild in pe you know people's hands and they're able to get out there and use it we're going to see a lot more about this how does it hold up how does the electric portion of this motor going to perform under various kind of fishing conditions and again i'll be getting my hands on the demo to put it through its paces on lake michigan fish with it do a full walkthrough video uh and share more of my thoughts in the coming months which is waiting for one to come up this way and we'll get that video uh done and i'll share with you my unbiased you know just straight up opinion and feelings on this new watercraft but i'm excited about it and i think that this 
can be the kayak for Lake Michigan salmon anglers because you get the best of both worlds wrapped up into one kayak. You get the pedals, you get the electric motor assist, you can pedal out to the fishing grounds or you can cruise out to the fishing grounds uh, and fish as long as you want. Even if your battery dies on you or there's an electrical wiring issues, wires get loose or something weird happens, you're not stranded. You can pedal back in uh, just like it was any other kind of trip. It's something that I wish I had that luxury in my autopilot. Not that I'm going to run out of juice because I've upgraded to a 160 amp hour battery, but it would still be nice to have that like backup, you know, for peace of mind, like, okay, battery dies or something happens. No worries. You know, I would rather pedal than have to paddle my autopilot. So oh, again, it, it's really cool. I would love to hear what you guys think about this Big Water EPDL 132 down below in the comments, your initial thoughts on it, uh, your feelings on the price tag. Uh, look, people can complain about the price tag all day, but after seeing what Hobie has done when they released the Ike, uh, Mike Iconelli red version of the Hobie, and it was really expensive and, and people were in the comments like, oh, I would never buy this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then we just saw everyone popping up, posting photos of their red Mike Iconelli uh, Hobie Pro Anglers all over Facebook and Instagram. People will buy. People will buy this. I don't think anybody should be shamed for making this investment. If it's what they want and it's going to benefit their fishing, God bless. Have at it. And I don't think it's right to shame anybody for what they choose to use for their kind of a kayak, whether it's a paddle, a pedal, a motor, or a hybrid hey you're out there on the water you're trying to catch some fish do you you know really do you let me know what your thoughts again and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in another video tight lines